one of these days. I bet your heart will be broken. I bet your pride will be stolen. I'll bet, I'll bet, I'll bet. Looks like I got a five. Man, that's blurry as fuck. It's just my eyes. Why is that so blurry? Is there enough light on it? I need better lighting. You know, I really got to invest 400 bucks on a really awesome lighting kit. An LED lighting kit. That's what I was been intending to do for like a year. And I just, I'll do that sometimes when I know there's like a, an extremely good card. I will, uh, or an extremely good move to make in life. I won't do it. Or I won't buy it. And it'll be like 60 cents for the card. And it'll be like just too good. Like it's unfairly good, you know. Anyway, I was like, doing go. Oh yeah, I was trying to fix the fucking blurry fucking camera. Hold on, I'm gonna wipe this off. I bet it's still blurry. I think it's the lighting. That's so annoying. Anyway, this is Memory Jar. If you know Magic the Gathering, keep watching this video. You guys ever play Magic? This is the first deck I made when I got back to Ohio. I basically sold all my cards. These are uh, really valuable. Well, it's basically, they're in plastic sleeves. Um, minimize this video. I've been playing this game since like 1994 or something. 95? MTG, baby. I think it came out in 1992. Um, made by this guy, Richard Garfield. He lived out in Seattle. And he formed this company called... No, no. I think he formed this company called Wizards of the Coast. And then they bought... Du Wizards of the Coast bought Dungeons and Dragons. Um, it's a good company. And Magic the Gathering is a, a card game that... I mean, there's... God, there's got to be... I don't know if there's 100,000 cards. There's, there's probably... They come out with like, on the big set, there's like 365. I don't know how many sets. There are 100 sets or 50, 50, 60 sets or something. I don't know. It's a lot of cards. And then the smaller sets are like 100 cards or 160, 180 cards. Um, this is basically, it's a card game where uh, there's five colors. Red, blue, white, green, and black. And each color represents an essence of mana, which is like energy source. A way of being. Black is dark, you know. I mean, it's, I guess it's black is how you look at it. Black is swamps, are their basic lands. Each land is associated, or each color is associated to a basic land type, and that's a, a swamp for black. And it produces black mana, which you use to cast black spells. And so you put, you, I, you put 60 cards in a deck, minimum, and preferably 60 because it's then it's easier to get to the cards you put in there. The more cards there are, it diffuses the chance of getting what's in here. You can only have four of a given card in a deck. Some cards are restricted to one of. That's actually, I think you can have four of it. Um, and then you can have as many lands as you want. And you use your lands to cast these spells, which basically have a, a cost associated to them. Like this guy costs one red. I don't know if it's too blurry. Sing in the upper left hand corner, that little red, that little weird looking red symbol right there. That means that it costs one red, which means you need one mountain. So you put your mountain out, and then you tap it, which means turn it on its side, and that means you've used it, and then you can put this card on the table. And then on your next turn, you untap your land, and you can use it again. And you're allowed to play one land per turn. Um, this is an, um, this deck is the first deck I made when I got back. It's like I sold all my cards for, you know, I, I sold them for like $3,500, except I was uh, stripped. Oh, maybe the reason I haven't been talking about my life for the last two and a half years or three years on camera is so I actually have something to talk about now. I can tell you about the last two and a half years of my life. Um, uh, one guy, I could quote Craigslisting. I Craigslisted it and he, he responded and he came over and he was all like looking at my cards. He was like, I don't have any cash. Can I give you a check? I was like, oh no, I need cash. And I was like, I want to record you. He went, no, I should have recorded it. Um, I still have a picture of him. He, uh, 
but I took the check eventually. He was like, I'll give you $1,500 for them all. And I was like, Jesus Christ. And we had barely looked through. I looked through like 10% of them with him. And I was like, okay. So he wrote me a check for $1,500. So I went to the bank and I deposited the check. And I was like, can I get 500 of it in cash? Because I had to pay my rent. And uh, this was, 1500 was for like the final crap that I had left. I'd already sold the uh, the really expensive cards for like $100 a piece. are called Dual Lands. I mean, look them up on eBay. Underground C, MTG, uh, Bayou, Badlands. They're worth like, the, the Underground C is worth like $110 a piece. They had a low print run. It's a popular game. Um, so, but when I finally got to the crappy cards, like I sold all my amazing cards one by one. And then I went through and I sold like a huge stack of really good stuff to this guy based on like how they'd been selling on eBay. Those prices, we would get the average price of like what it had just, or the, the best price, whatever it just sold at. I sold that for like another, I don't know. So I made like a couple, like $2,300 off that stuff or something, whatever. And then no, no, like 2000 and then 18. And I sold the crap to the other guy for 15. Well, the bank gave me 500 bucks straight up. And then I went to the website of my bank like days later to see if the check had cleared. And it cleared. So I spent like 800 more dollars almost on all this equipment, like this printer, which obviously is a really good investment the way it's fucking sitting there. But what I did was I got the printer with the um, refillable ink cartridge, which is uh, saves a lot of money on ink. It's this thing. This is my ink cartridge. Is six of them. And when it works, dude, this is fucking badass because I haven't refilled these yet and they're still so full. But the problem is you rig it through in a hose into the thing and you got to like break it to get it in there pretty much because it's not part of, it doesn't come with it. They sell cheap ink cartridges because, and I mean cheap like shitty, because they want you to keep buying their ink. But this, this other company made that other cartridge and it's like, they like stuff it in and it, it doesn't read it properly all the time. Like, if it runs out of black, it'll tell the printer that it's run out of all the ink. So, it'll like, well, it won't, it won't know. Like, I think. So basically, it, it it'll print without a certain ink. Like, it'll just it'll just keep printing when the ink's low or stuff. It's really weird. It's really crappy. Like this. I don't know if I have anything. Whatever. I, I could show you a, a, a piece of crap that it printed. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And the lighting is yellow in here, so it's not going to look right. Like, this is what a good printing looks like. And this is what my printing looked like. <laughs> Not always. Sometimes it looks good, but that looks like ass. So I spent like all this money on that, a bunch of paper for it. I've got over there and uh, like really good. It prints like really high resolution. It was like 400 bucks. Um, looks fucking great. Oh, I printed this one picture of the universe out. It looks so good. And... I think I, I bought mostly equipment when I was back at the, uh, doing bitches all around me. Like I bought all these CDs and DVDs, this blank shit with cases. I have all these cases. And so I have a lot of equipment to like make and sell DVDs and print CD covers and print on C actual CDs. Like it looks really nice when I can kind of jostle it around and get it working. So I put like, spent like 1300 bucks or something on it. And then the bank was like, the check didn't clear. I was like, whoa. Oh, the check already cleared. Like I, I looked online, the money was there. I went to websites and spent the money that they cleared to me. Now, my theory is a bank, I'm a customer and they sold me the money. They traded it to me and then they tried to take it back. And now Bank of America has like a, you know, they're like, we're gonna send it to collections and they've sent it to collections as far as I know. Like that's illegal. They sold it to me and took it back. That's really fucked up. Um, it's real fucked up. Like I can destroy them in court. Uh, so anyway, the check didn't clear. Duh! Don't take a check from someone on Craigslist. 
I knew that beforehand too, but it was like 1500 bucks. And the great part is I actually got the money. What the fuck? Most of it. So they still owe it back. Well, it's all in how you look at it, right? I spent it quick enough. There was like a 14 hour period where it was available. So that was when I sold all my magic cards. And I had some great decks. Where the fuck did I put my cards? I had some great decks like. I had an artifact deck. Now, let me explain this. Like I said, there's five colors of magic. Black is swamps. Blue is islands. Red is mountains. White is plains. Green is forests. And there's artifacts you find and can use. And they are colorless. Any mana can cast them. Colorless mana. It's that five. Hope you can see it. Um, my original deck was an artifact deck, and then I made this. So I sold all my cards. I had a really great artifact deck. Um, but they, they made some improvements in the game about four years ago. Like, I bought a lot in the 90s, and I didn't really buy much after 2000. Like, I didn't buy any cards from, like, 98 or 9 to, like, 2001 or 2000. And then when I got to New York in 2001, my roommate played, and I was just, I bought a couple boxes for like a couple of 160 bucks or something, 180 bucks. And uh, then I took a long time off after that. But the thing is, in like 2004 or 3 or 2 even, they, they like revamped the game so hard. Like they pretty much made these cards where, like you'll have a great card that costs six, seven color, six colorless or something. And that's a, you know, it's six. It means you have to have six lands out or something. You have to be able to generate six lands worth of mana somehow, which is you can use artifacts. You can untap your lands with spells and stuff to use them again. Um, but then in like 2002 or four, they took cards that cut would cost six and they would make them all cost like four or five. So like these old cards that I had all bought were pretty much obsolete and not all of them, but like, you know, a hefty portion of them had become obsolete and I was still rocking these decks with these obsolete cards and my friends were making fun of me like I come back to Ohio and they'd be like dude you gotta get new cards man and I'd be like this deck's awesome dude and they're like dude I know but this and sometimes they would say I know sometimes they would just be like dude this combo is like 10 times better with these other cards I'm like yeah well these other cards are 20 30 40 bucks I don't have the money and I got these great decks so I sold all my old cards I was just like fed up with it I had great cards that are still great, that didn't get out, that are still, will always be great. I sold one card to Ted uh, for 260, 250 bucks. Mystery, I, it was worth 50. I got it when it was 50, a $50 card. I traded five $10 cards to get it. Um, so I sold it all, all, I think every, every card I had. And if there was a box left over, I left it somewhere. And then I decided when I got back to start fresh and do it right. And so I made this deck, dude. This deck is unstoppable. Which isn't true, because if three people turn on me, it can be stopped. But if I get the right cards, it can't be stopped. I mean, there's a lot of decks like that, you know. And of course, if I get the right cards, it can still be stopped, which is the great thing about the game. But it, it just has a high win ratio, because it's like my only deck that I don't play to kill the opponent or to beat the opponent, like I, I but I, I actually play to get the right cards on the table to make the combination that I need to destroy, and uh, I, then I like to destroy them after I get the combo, or while I'm working to get the combo, I like to just beat them down a lot before, or make them concede. I don't like, I mean, I, I like it when they concede, but I'd rather just do the damage. Too. They have tw Each player starts with 20 life, and the object is to take them down to 20, and, and you have creatures that have power and toughness, this guy's got one of each, which means if he hits an opponent, they lose one life. And he has one toughness, so if someone deals one damage to him, he dies. And there's cards that are one, two. Look, this guy's Japanese. Four, four. 
I think the biggest creature is a 2020. <laughs> it's in indestructible, which means it can't be destroyed, and it's 2020. It's ridiculous. And my friend Bryce has a combo where he gets it out on the first or second turn and attacks you with it. Like you have two two turns. So I have to make my decks to be able to win or stop huge creatures and artifacts on the second turn or first turn. Otherwise I get beat. So my this deck is amazing. This deck is fucking amazing. I love this deck. The, I guess the weakness is that it's an artifact deck, so if someone plays like a deck that's purely focused on artifact destruction, they'll rip the fuck out of this. But other than that, most people don't do that because artifacts aren't that common. I mean, they're common, but they're not like, you know, maybe one in five or one in ten decks is an artifact deck. Anyway, this is my box right now. I have like... 20 decks that I'm working on right now over there, which I should do. When the inspiration strikes me. Making a goblin deck. We got a bunch of new cards coming in for that. I'm pretty happy with this new set of cards. Uh, hey Pam, how are you? I could tell you more about these. You know what? Maybe I'll save them for other videos. I've got I've got all these decks. Now what I was thinking about doing was showing you every card in the deck and explaining what it does. Maybe I could make like a hardcore fan nerd site and uh, explain it. Well the thing is what I what I don't like it's not that I don't want to reveal my secrets. This deck will slaughter you. This is my artifact deck. Um I basically get indestructible, untargetable platinum angels out. But my goal is to really lay into you uh, and finish you off before you have a chance to respond, like or before you have a chance to quit. <laughs> it's fun. Got this Psychic Venom deck. It's pretty badass. Uh, I've got, you know, the burn deck that Matt gave me, uh, discard deck. Paradox Haze deck, a uh, white, green, and red deck, equipment deck, discard deck, landfall deck, beast, not a beast deck, it's a red and green deck. That's all I got right now. Still interested? Does it matter what I'm talking about? It really doesn't matter? Or is it how I'm doing it? Arguable 